Right, so what you want to do um, is open up your Google, Google SketchUp, just like this, let it load up. Now you have the available to get a couple of templates. In uh, TAS we work with millimeters um, and this is a woodworking project. So we would just select the woodworking millimeters one, a single click or a double click is fine and let it boot up. Okay, so this is what our home screen looks like. So you have all your tools across the top there, um, pencil tool, erase tool, um, and this is how we're gonna start. You're gonna go, um, into standard views, or you choose a parallel projection just so it gets a cleaner uh, view. So, once again, yeah, you have your eraser tool, pencil tool, uh, arc tool, square tool, push pull, and then within the rectangle, you've got a couple of pieces offset, uh, measurement, and a paint bucket. <coughs> There's some of the tools we have used. Uh, to kick off, we're going to go standard views and we're going to go select the left or right hand side view. It's up to you. So just left click on that. There's your left hand side view. Then you'll get the square, oh, the rectangle tool, sorry. Place it right in the center of the page. So down the bottom there will be the dimensions of the piece once you click it. So this is the side, remember. So the project we have is uh, 350 by 70 or 300 by 70 high. Um, everyone has their own style. So just type in 70 comma 350 and just hit enter. And then that's the side of your shade, of your piece, sorry. Zoom in, have a look at it. Now we're gonna um, make this piece 3D. To make it 3D, you know, go up the top there. You know, orbit, sorry. We'll orbit first, and then we'll select the push pull tool. Select the face when it hits those dash, and we're going to pull it out. Thickness of our timber, which is 12 mil. Down the bottom right hand corner, you can see 12. You can type it in, or you can drag it out to where it says 12. Okay. Now we need to create our rebate joint. To do that, we're going to go to the top view, click the top. I'm going to zoom in on one of the edges, so the top edge in preference. You're going to automatically find center as it does. You're going to click it, you're going to drag it in a straight line until it hits 12. On the right hand side you can see, and you're going to have to do a straight line straight across. Lucky for us now, we can go our ISO view, and then rotate it around. And then we're going to use our push-pull function, and push-pull it straight down. Until down the bottom there, it says basically remove, and you have your rebate joint there. And that's your rebate joint on one side. Completed. What we would like to do now is put a trench in the front. So we're going to look at doing a trench to be the same process with the push pull. Start with a rectangle. Oh, sorry, we'll measure down. So we measure down uh, 10 mil. That's how far the trench is down. And that's going to be the start of our trench. You get the rectangle tool. Okay, it's three by six. So it's three down by six across this trench. So in the bottom right hand corner. You can actually just type in three and six. Otherwise, you could try to use your mouse and try to find the correct um, dimensions. But just typing it in six and three, it gives you the perfect dimensions. Now you can just use the push tool, push pull tool, sorry, and drag it all the way down to get to the back. If it doesn't remove like it does there, all you need to do is just select the select tool and the erase tool and just remove that face like I'm doing right now. And there you go. That's our groove for our lid completed. We're going to have a look. Orbit tool. If you just click the scroll button on your mouse, you're able to orbit freely around your shape. Now, what we'll do is let's do our front piece. So we're going to go measure straight down there, a rectangle. It is 57 by 12. Just coming off that groove there. 12, so 57 by 12. Hit enter, okay. So as you can see, the push-pull tool allows um, objects to become 3D, 2D objects to become 3D. So you draw it on the face, click the push-pull, and the length of your front piece um, in a glue class is different. Our class, we did 96 millimeters, so you're just gonna type in 96. Just click enter. If your class is a different front uh, measurement, you can just click your front measurement. Remember, the front 
piece is 12 millimeters shorter than the back piece. Okay, you can have a look. Draw the join because that's where it's joined. It's just a little butt joint there. And across the top. And then down. You can't see it because the axis is lined there, but later on we will move the axis line um, and that then will allow us to see the join. We keep orbiting around and have a look. Now we're going to start by doing our second side piece. So you're going to come up 70 by 12. From the bottom, so it already snaps onto the bottom. If you want to go 70 by 12, click enter. Now using our push pull function and our orbit function, we're going to go 350 millimeters deep because that's the actual length of our side from the front, from the other side. Okay. Now we've got our two side pieces ready to rock and roll. Do our groove again, replicate the exact same process, six by three, onto the front face, click enter, push pull it all the way along. You notice that I did this groove before I did the relay joint. It does not matter, um, it just involves another step um, after you've done the groove. Um, it is easier to do the rebate first and then do the groove after, but if you do the groove first, there is no issue with that. Push-pull tool allows you to remove parts of project as well. So now select the pencil tool, once again find center, automatically it finds center, come up 12, and then draw a perpendicular line to the inside shape, to the inside edge, sorry. Now this is where that second step is, so if you use the push-pull function, Pull down, but see how uh, we have to do it again here. So the way I would do it is I would then find, continue that line on that inside edge. Erase that. Continue that line on the inside edge, just down there. Yeah, and come across on the face. That boxes it off. Once you're able to box it off, once you've boxed it off, um, Look at the top view of it and then push pull it once again. And then that. So you push the push pull tool is a very powerful tool um, in SketchUp. You could do so much. Um, without that, it will be a lot tougher. Let's put our end piece on. So just rectangle tool across the top face. The reason why I do it across the top face is so I don't hide the rebate joint. If I did it across the inside face, I would hide the rebate joint and drag that all the way down to the bottom. Automatically, it should snap to the correct length. If you do it properly, like I've just done there, there we go, it snaps to the correct length. And there we go, we have our sides, back, and front of our pencil box completed. What we would like to do now is put a groove across that back. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, same process as we've done the sides. Um, so continue the line across, corner to corner, make sure it snaps to the corner there. And then do it across the bottom there. Make sure it snaps to the other side. It has to snap. Once you know it snaps, it will create that little uh, surface. Delete that. Click and delete. Left click and delete. Now we're going to erase two little lines. One there and one on the other side. And then we're going to use our push-pull tool once again. And come in six millimeters halfway. On the right-hand side, you'll see I'll tap it six and just click enter. Now we have our grooves all the way around our box completed. You can orbit, have a look at what you've done. What we would like to do now, put a base on this thing. So the quickest way to put a base, rectangle tool, snap it to the left, snap it to the right. Okay, find the corner, it has to find the corner. If it doesn't, um, I'm having a few issues here trying to find the corner. Um, so you just keep changing your views, whatever's easiest, um, you'll get away. There we go. So it highlights red. Once it highlights red, you can click left, 350 by three millimeters thick, because our base is three millimeters thick. Click enter, push pull tool, drag it all the way across. It should snap to the exact length of the other side. Snaps over. Now, you're pretty much done here. Um, you've got yourself a base, you've got some sides, you've got a back and a front. Um, now we're going to actually render this thing. So rendering actually makes it look like the timber color. So use the paint bucket up the top, click on any timber that you like, 
and start clicking all the faces, all the faces that need to be rendered the correct uh, material color. So keep clicking, click all your faces. You might have to scroll to the bottom in all the grooves, um, inside faces. Okay, zooming in obviously helps. Go towards the back, get the back. What we'll do as well is we'll do a different render for the uh, project um, and a different uh, for the side, sorry, and the front, and then we'll do a different render for the base because the base is made out of um, plywood. Keep rotating around, have a look at what you've got. Cool. Um, close it off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove those axis lines. So let's see where the axes, there you go. There you go. Um, that's your pencil box completed. We don't need to put a lid in. Uh, it looks a bit better without putting a lid on it for now. Um, putting a lid doesn't provide much to your project. Save it. So just click save as. Um, save it to any file that you like or any location that you like pencil box. I'm just gonna put it into my personal document. And just click save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to actually export it as a uh, image. So if you go File, Export, 2D Graphic, click on the 2D Graphic, call it whatever you want, call it whatever you want, and then down the bottom there you'll see where it says PDF. We don't want to save it as a PDF file, we want either a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, a PNG is a better quality, so we'll do it as a PNG. Left click on the PNG, click Export, let it do its thing. And that document now will be in your downloads file or wherever you've saved it to. And then that's your pencil box done. Congratulations.